on the back of the rat's head or whatever you're trying to go and feed to your uh, snake. And then you simply just put it in one of the tubs, like so. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here from Mutation Creation. And in today's video, we're gonna show you what size rats to go and feed your baby ball pythons and even what size to move them up at. And we even have some really cool tips on how to get your ball pythons to eat if they're having trouble eating. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Balls Deep Reptiles. Thanks so much for the really cool shirt. And are they slacking on the back? Nope. So definitely not slacking. Go and check them out. And who do you got on? We got full throttle reptiles here. Yep. And they're definitely not slacking on the back. Go and check them out. And then we even got one more over here. We have Lone Star Reptiles. Go and check them out. And definitely not slacking on the back with that huge logo. So, like I said earlier, in today's video, we're going to show you what we're going to feed our baby ball pythons. And we usually start with this size over here. And these are fuzzy rats. So, they're a little one step up from the pinky rats. A lot of people like to go and feed their ball pythons right away. But fuzzy rats, uh, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit more meat for the ball python. So, they're going to get a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. And with the fur on it, they just tend to eat it that much better. So you don't have to resort to using mice or ASFs that often. And a really good tip if you are feeding mice or ASFs or maybe your snake is not eating that we got from Earl at Lone Star Reptiles. We're just going to have Catherine just, uh, demonstrate it for you guys right now. And all you got to do is take a little bit of vanilla extract and you just put it on the back of the rat's head or whatever you're trying to go and feed to your uh, snake. And then you simply just put it in one of the tubs, like so. And these green tabs we have here are for ASFs. And even this though, this one is in shed. We're going to leave it in there, and hopefully when we come back, it will take it. We find pretty good success rate with this. It's not 100%, but it's better than nothing. So if you're having trouble getting your snake to switch over to rats from mice or ASFs, or just having them in general a hard time eating, definitely go and try vanilla extract. You can check some out. Yeah, let's go check someone that we fed already. So Catherine, show us. So this one I fed a normal rat to, usually it eats ASF. You can see it's a little chunky on the sides. That one ate. So once they eat, we can push them in and I'll actually take this off because now we know that it eats normal rats. Oh, another one. And another one. I know for a fact this one has left it. See, it's in the back. He's in shed. Um, so it's not a hundred percent success rate, but it's definitely helping a lot. So that's what we do with the rat fuzzies. And the next step up from the rat fuzzies is something that we feed is called a rat pup. And here I have two different sizes of rat pups in here. These both came in the same bin of rat pups. So you have something on the smaller side and something on the little bit bigger size. And I'm just gonna pull out a snake right now to show you what size snake we would go and feed one of these two. And it would probably be something around this size. This snake is actually getting to the size where it needs the bigger uh, rat pup like so. And we'll actually feed it right now. Actually, should we feed it? Sensor. <laughs> Let's feed her. And there you go. So perfect size rat for her. And we're just gonna go put her back there. Take her out of the water. <laughs> and basically that's what we would feed a rat pup. And the next step up from a rat pup would be a rat weaned. And I'm just gonna go show you what a rat wean looks like right over here. And just like the rat pups, there is gonna be a little bit of size difference between the rat weans. So here is what we look like a smaller one. And here's one that's a little bit bigger. And generally, it's your own discretion what you're gonna feed, but the rule of thumb is to go and feed the snake at its largest part of its belly and make it about the same size as the rat's belly or how big the rat is. So the rat was about this big. You want a snake that is about that big at the widest part of its belly for that rat. And then you can move up the sizes accordingly. And that's pretty much it, how we size our rats. And now let's go take a look at what Billy's doing because he's working with that new Husbandry Pro app. And there's Chris. Yeah, so here we're just basically loading data. Uh, we have all of our animals here, all listed. So if you see here, I actually have a search 19 OD, so it only pulls up the animals that have that. So if I go here and go Enchi, if I spell it correctly, Enchi, I only have one female 
That's 19 Orange Dream Enchi Pied. You know, you take that away, it'll actually load all my animals. I have 1,025 entered so far. Uh, very great. I love it. You can actually go here now and actually go to 100. So now automatically it changes. And you can select the animal you want, make changes. Just go here to edit. And now all the information here you can edit. If I want to sell it, just hit for sale, type in a price. It's, it's so very, very user friendly. Uh, one thing I'm really excited about, which we've been doing, is if you go to uh, breeding plan, here's my list, my 2020, obviously, 2021. Go here to view. And all my pairings. So my double het lavender ghost, going to my double het lavender ghost. If I wanted to search and get another female, okay, no results because there's nothing there. Say I want to look for my 15, uh, an animal from 2015, lav het pied. I can search from the menu and just hit click and then upload. Animal added successfully. Now it's here. Obviously, I don't want that there, but I just delete. Are you sure? Yes. And done. But all my pairings, so the ghost pied, all the animals it's going to, it, it's just so amazing. Um, here's something here, the pairing. So the pairing's already locked in on the 17th, uh, sorry, on the 10th. So we already know that the pairing's there. Uh, it's going to do stuff. We haven't entered a lot of stuff, but let me just find the one. So there's another one. So we've only done two, but all my pairings so far are here. I have 131 males that are going to be paired this year or not paired. So, for example, here, the leopard triple head has no female selected. And if I want to select, I just simply go there and type the animal that I want to breed them to and add it. Nice and simple. But it, it's so great. I love having everything under one. Where beforehand, here's my, my pairings. So here's my 2020 breeding records. You know, the clutches, the pairings. Here's a, here's a clutch that I did with Austin. So clutch number seven last year. Hatched January the 22nd of 2020. And she pied, which was Austin's, hence the A, to my clown pied. We end up getting eight babies. I kept two. I sold two. Austin took four. You know, you want to go back here and you want to go to 2019. Here's 2019. All these records, stuff for sale. You know, now I have everything in one, one uh, platform. Um, really excited. Can't wait to do much more. Um, tracks everything. What's really cool? My virtual rack. So if you look here, come over here. This rack here that we're looking at is my ARS for sale rack one. That's this. So if you look at this tag right here, 2019-10-3. Well, there it is right there. And what is it? 2019-10-3. Male, lavender albino, lavender albino, het pied male. Mm -hmm. Everything's right here. Down here, we have a 2020 11-2 male, black pastel, yellow belly pied, sorry, het pied, het lap. So you come down here, 2020-11-2, nice poop, nice shed. So black pastel, yellow belly, double het. Lavender and pied. So it's just so amazing to have everything here. These virtual racks, um, just super happy with everything. And if you look, I have so many more still to fill. So we got lots of work to do, but all I know is once I enter everything, so, so far we've, we've done the first five, six, seven racks. Um, lots of stuff to put in, but once it's there, um, the ease, the, the ease of use, all the information and what I can do and extract, um, finding an animal, you know, here's my animal list, populates really fast. So there's Enchi. 
So any animal here with Enchi, Enchi Ghost, Enchi Yellow Belly, Enchi Ultramel, anything with Enchi pops up. Try another. We do Freeway. Anything with Freeway pops up. Super easy. You can go over here, do an activity. Super smooth. But what I like, you can do that right here from your racks and cages. Say, for example, this animal right here. I want to go and feed it. I can just go here. I can just go here. I can click it. And I can do an activity, post an activity. I can view the animal. I can have it paired, reproduce, follicle development, feed, clean. This is what I have because I, I have this in this order because I'm doing this mostly for my adults. That's what I really want to track most. Other activity down here, weight, water change, cop copulation, ovulation. I'm probably going to take ovulation out and switch it to clean. And to do something like that, you just go, to, it's, everything's customizable. So I go down here to activity settings and settings. And see how I have primary? So I have cleaned primary. I'm going to take cleaned off. And I'm going to have ovulation primary. I'm going to have pairing. I'm going to have copulation. So when I notice a lock, um, I don't need anything else. Follicle de development I like. So I'm going to have that. So something's that simple. Now when I go back to animals, and I go back to, sorry, not animals, racks, browse racks, go back over here, hit view. There's the animal, post activity. So now here, ovulation, copulation, pairing, reproduction, follicle, follicle development, feeding, and then water change, cleaned, and weight. You can modify what you want primary. You can have less, you can have more, and other activity. It's so helpful. If I want to view the animal, it gives me all the data. If I have a picture, just so much and, and lots more to come. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm excited. Um, having all my ink, you know, all my pairings and, and stuff here, um, so much more to come. Um, I'm just using it myself and, and getting very familiar with it but we still have probably another thousand animals to add. So um, that's what I'm doing. So no shout out, no, you know, except for the holy shirt, you know, <laughs> my grubs. So um, yeah, so I guess uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep the comments coming in. We'll see you soon.